Hey guys, my name is Saniak and welcome back to another episode of Canal Town here in City Skylines. But today, I want to continue the expansions. I want to get a brand new river crossing in to set up a new connection to enable vehicles and people to access areas a lot easier. And I want to start looking at a couple of the unique factories right now to start creating specific type of goods that will slowly start generating us more income. Now, if you do enjoy this series and want to see more, then make sure you smash that like button down below. If you are new in here, make sure you do subscribe so you get notified when the next episode does come out. But we are back. Boom. There we are. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> and uh, last episode, we kind of played around with the stock exchange. I managed to get it all the way up to its max level. I have one investment right now, which I'm actually going to quickly sell before it, you know, disappears. And we've made loads of money. I am rich. Uh, which has kind of transformed a few bits and bobs as well because we added a bunch of banks to the commercial areas and things are going swimmingly. Now, the only thing that's kind of struggling for us right now, we keep ever so often going into a little bit of debt. Now, reason for that is many things. The amount of money that we're spending on infrastructure right now is through the roof, boys. Through the roof. Public transport is also through the roof, especially the boats <laughs> and the trains because we're not really getting any money coming from the trains. Because uh, everyone's being transported via uh, ship. So it's just really, really expensive. The amount of money we're expendi spending right now on infrastructure-wise and just kind of operating costs, it is crazy. Our biggest expenditure right now turns out to be education. Oh, okay. And then it's public transport. And then everything else is just kind of battling from it. But I could up the taxes, but I kind of don't want to just yet because we've still got a few more things that we need to do to kind of lock down that solid income. So what I want to do then is first, I want to take a look at building a brand new river crossing. And what I want to do is build this one here. So at the moment, the only way to kind of get to this area coming from this direction, of course, is going through this loop, coming back down. Now, building this might take away a few people from using this route, which is fair enough. It's all fine. But it might also stop a few people utilizing this turn off as well as we um, vehicles go around. I just want to make this area a bit more accessible, especially for the imports of the cargo so they can just kind of drive over a bit easier because this is going to be quite a high tourist area uh, and it needs a lot of goods for the commercial zoning. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to slightly adjust this road, bring it over, whack around about just here. Nice and simple. I think there's going to be no stress, no dramas when it comes to creating this connection. So what type of road have we got anyway? We've got the one with the uh, four lane road with the, that's it there, with the trees in the middle. And we'll pick a point just here. So if I chose, it's actually a little bit difficult to kind of grab this. But if I came off here by the 20 and... We start, we'll do a 10 by 12 and start the um, the elevation now going up. We'll do another 10 and then we'll do one more 10. So we've kind of gone up to like a 30. And the reason we need it so high is because obviously I need the boats to be able to go over it. So if I kind of bring it all the way down to here and then by the 10 we'll drop it down. We'll do the exact same measurements we've just done. And then I need to do it by the 12. So the 12 then goes down to 0. And then what we'll do, we'll just slightly adjust all of this. So it all kind of comes together. Now it's a little bit hard to do so because that's pretty straight coming up and over. But it might be a case where if I delete it back to, to, to there. And then we gradually bring the bend down. And I think we can, you know, ultimately... Uh, create that with the connection tool right now. So if I maximize this bend, so what this is going to allow me to do as well is also, ha you know, give this area greater access uh, so I can kind of build up upon it. I might kind of end it with some, like, um, I, want, I don't know if to do like a city park or like a nature reserve to kind of incorporate this uh, peninsula point right now with... Uh, the little lighthouse, and just turn this into something a little bit more leisurely. Because, uh, you know, the more I build up on it, the more stress you put on these whole junctions, and you kind of have to do be a little bit careful. So with that said, I then need to do a roundabout. So, arrange circular mode. I kind of can't remember how i meant to do roundabouts right now. I can't remember what the, um, the way to go about doing it is. 
Um, I want to say I can do it here, but I feel like I can't. And I remember having like a roundabout tool. But like, again, I can't remember what my the roundabout mod shortcut is. I actually don't remember it. Can I create a roundabout with this? Um, I'm going to assume... I'm going to assume I can. But ultimately, I don't know. This here is to split mode... Uh, I don't know what that does. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to delete this. Because I can't remember how to create roundabouts right now using... I don't know if I have the roundabout mod installed. So what we'll do, we'll just kind of keep it nice and simple. We'll keep it nice and simple. And I'll implement this just here. Bam. And it should all work out fairly well for us. So delete you. Delete you, delete you, delete you. Right, delete that back a bit. And then we'll try and build upon this. So this is... We just think that's more of an industrial style. Um, four lane road. No, it's not. I think it's just a standard four lane road with the thing in the middle, isn't it? So I need to kind of <clears throat> come out of this. I don't know if to push this actually back a bit. Um, so if I set it with no tracks, I should be able to pick all this up. Hmm. Okay, this is not going to go to plan very well. Obviously, I wanted it with no tracks, but it's going to pick up these little sections just here. I'm just wondering how much more I can kind of get away with. So if I bring that to about here... <clears throat> Right, reason for it is, I want to be able to kind of come off this ideally quite nice. So if I do a, I'm going to do a small little two there. Small little two there. And then if I delete back a little bit, I think I still need to push it back a bit more. So, push it back up. You know, I might just go to here with it. Because I, I want these bends to... And I don't I don't really want to adjust the train line any more than I have to. So we're going to keep it nice and simple like that. Which should allow me then to kind of pick up an 18 by an 18 bend there. A 15 by 14. We'll, we'll just go with that. And then it should allow me to go ahead and create the beautifulness that will ensue with our little bends. So highway style, two lane road, and all I want to do, we do a seven, a seven, we'll do a seven, and a seven, now this one's a little bit further back, so we'll go for a ten, and a ten, and then we're just going to bend these in, right, come off that now, bend these in ever so slightly, Okay, maybe this one can't be as bent as much. Because of how the road is. That's fair enough. Just ever so slightly, so we it's more of a kind of a, a slingshot for them to kind of enter on and on these roads. And that kind of sets everything up there just perfect for us. We'll get rid of that there. So delete you. We've got this one here, which I'm going to slightly just move it down. A bit easier for us there. And we just need to set this roundabout up right now. So, la di da di da Alright, that roundabout's now set up. We'll just make sure that we've got these all thrown into it. For the old Chrissy Crossies. And that should be it. So what we're going to make sure of is <clears throat> that the we don't all of a sudden start seeing people turn off to come down here to go round to go over, literally denying the use of this. So we need to be a bit careful about what the speed limit actually is. So it, it is a 50 going across. I'm actually going to turn it into a 40, a 40 mile an hour run. And that should go all the way down to there, which it, it does. It does. So keeping that to there, which reduces it ever so slightly... This highway over here turns out to be a hundred, so it is 
quick in terms of speed you can travel to go down here i just don't know whether it's going to be quicker driving down here but reduce that to a 40 as well now you will get some of them that do use it obviously and you know i do want them to use it but i don't want everybody to all of a sudden utilize this as being the shortcut i don't want them to go up here down here bam 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 up then join the highway to continue that's not what I want. I only want them to be kind of going over here if it's really beneficial for them here. So I don't want it to shortcut this and just cut all this highway run out. But you never know. We'll just see what happens over time. We'll see what happens over time anyway. You're going to a few vehicles now using it because it's going to be beneficial for some. So, you know, fairly interesting. Let it do what it's going to do. So that's going to be interesting then. Hopefully it's high enough for the boats to go under. And it gives that additional connection, which is really going to benefit these guys down here. And I can now start to build up this area a little bit more. So while we let that do what it's got to do, we'll take a look at doing some of our unique factories as well. Now, I think last episode we did kind of implement one, didn't we? We implemented this bakery, which turns out it's making some good money. Not going to lie, making some pretty decent cash. Uh, so with the limited you know industrial areas that we do have which is fishing but that doesn't really matter when it comes to the unique factories uh we have the the forest uh, the forestry sorry the forestry over here and the farming so you kind of have to you know build what you can from those so when it comes to the unique factories uh i did the uh, the bakery which is all products from the farming industry i have the ability to do the furniture factory which is all products from the forestry now it is a decent sized building so I've got a couple of options in what I could potentially do. Now, these guys are storing the goods nearby. So if I try to utilize how I've got this big hangover area here, coming down to here, and level this out, I could build the furniture factory around here. Because it's near the two warehouses that, you know, have the goods. It's a decent size. This should work. So delete you back. Get the key walls all set back up. So bringing you down to here and then straight up to there. And we're just going to make sure that this stays all the same level. So it's either going to stay all the same level or we're going to, it's going to gradient. And I, I think I prefer it to slightly gradient like that. So we're going to flatten all this out as much as we can. Oh, oh that brush size. Or should I just smoothen it all out? Right, we'll flatten it to here so it's kind of the same level to there and then we'll just smooth them where we can to be honest with you, it does drop down quite a bit doesn't it so I don't know whether just kind of make it all the same height <clears throat> we'll see hold on we'll, we'll see because at the same time you know I can kind of build a road in here to kind of uh, change those levels so if i bought this road in and just literally added it into there nice and simple and then oh that's actually quite a big building right instead of right there we go up by a few more so bring it to there and i'll just squeeze that in here so it does change quite dramatically so i feel like what we should really do is bring this slightly up and then just kind of do the gradient from there to there so not by much i can then bring this down ever so slightly and then smooth them where we can just to kind of take the edge off get out of here siri i'm not talking to you damn fool <laughs> uh and go like that so should work out still fairly well gets the main point across to what I need it to do and the storage for it is nearby so the only thing that we don't have is then the storage for the goods that it produces so with that we'll create a small little warehouse and our export area is down here so I'll kind of have it you know we'll have the, we'll have it down here some of that storage now this is obviously changing levels so if I bring that out just there and we'll go for a... I don't want to go for a big boy one because that seems a little bit crazy. We'll go for a decent sized warehouse just there. That's just literally going to store the unique um, products. Unique factory products. That's all I needed to kind of produce. And that will store what's produced in our furniture factory. 
We'll up the production rate as well, so we kind of make a little bit more than normal. Yes, it does cost us a little bit more in upkeep, but it will pump more goods in to produce more furniture, thus generating us a little bit more money. So this all happens over here, which is great. So that's going to be a big help. But the question is, how many more unique factories could I build with the limited industrial areas that I have? So, can't build a steel plant, don't have the metal. Uh, can't build a house or a plastic pl um, plant, we don't have the petroleum or plastics. Uh, don't have a toy, can't do a toy factory because I don't have plastics. Uh, can't do that, no plastics. Uh, no glass. We then have none of all three of them. <laughs> Uh, no plastic for the clothing factory. No petroleum. No. Uh, no. No plastics again. No plastics or oil. No. The shipyard. No. So that's it. That's as crazy as it seems. <laughs> we are limited to two. So we really have to start thinking about then building the next industry. Which is something that we'll do next episode. Let me know what you guys think. Do I build the mining or the oil industry next episode? Because we need to get those in to be able to start building more of these unique factories. Because we're now just kind of, you know, straight up limited, aren't we? So, you know, no special goods. They'll, they'll get a delivery of the plain timber soon. They will get that delivery. Do not worry. Do not worry. But yeah, we, we're pretty much then limited, aren't we? So how is this going over here then, this little bridge? So we've reduced the speed. Have I reduced it too much that it's now no use to anybody? Have I, is that what I've done now? <laughs> Which is not a good sign. You know, I want it to be useful to some folks. I don't know, there's a vehicle just there. But do you reckon I've, I've reduced the speed too much? I'll pull it back to what it was. It was at 50, wasn't it? So I'll put it back to 50 and see what happens. It could be that I reduced it too much. So we'll see. We will see. Now we do have a nice little demand going on the go right now. A little bit of commercial and uh, industrial. Um, every time I ch do try and spend a little bit, a bit of demand, it doesn't last very long. But also it, we barely make any money. So we also need to kind of start building money making projects. And I think a good way to do this right now is to build a little bit of a small city park just here. Uh, I don't really utilize city parks that much in Canal Town. And I feel like it's something that I kind of should do because they do generate a vast amount of money for us. So let me just now um, paint this whole area. It also provides the leisure as well to this area. And, you know, it's just beneficial all around. And we'll do a side gate on every connection right now. And every side to really truly take advantage of this area. We'll do the, 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 the usual suspects first. Um, I'm just kind of going around the recon. There we go. And then we bring that to there. Um, does get a little bit difficult to try and navigate some of this now. Because ultimately... What he's trying to do is trying to snap here, there and everywhere. And I'll just kind of go for a, a slight diagonal just there. Get all these little side bits in. And then just create a couple of connections like this. They're a bit crazy and all over the place, but that's what's going to make this little park area quite fun. So, the more leisure buildings we add to it right now, the better for the generic area. So we'll start squeezing in a few of these. So here, there, and everywhere where we can squeeze something in, we'll try our best to do so. And there, we'll go for some gazebos. We have a little bit of a park area and then a trampoline park, and then that's it. That's all we'll do. Just to give it enough kind of entertainment value that it will slowly start leveling up. Charge top dollars. Doesn't cost us too much to run. And then we'll plant down a bunch of trees in the area. There we go. Bulk that up as well. And a nice little park there, which will slowly start generating us more and more money. So most importantly, right, we put the schools around the edges of this park, which is going to make all the students walk through it. 
to get from one side to the other. So we'll try and fast forward. And then we should slowly start to see some revenue coming in. And, you know, it'll make a couple of pennies, which will help the little deficit that we keep losing. Because we kind of keep swinging into making money, losing money, making money, losing money. So we need to start thinking about ways in which we can consistently make money and not kind of fluctuate into a little bit of debt. But because the way we built it all up, the upkeep of running all this stuff, you know, does take over time to time. So, starting to see a, few, a bit more movement down here right now. A few more vehicles uh, going on this big bridge. So, changing the speed limit has made a direct impact. So, that's good to see. That is good to see. Uh, did, they, they, did, they, did they get their plain timber in the end? They did. So, they're, they're pretty much good to go. They're making some sweet cash money, moolah profit. Can't really argue with that. Can't really argue with that. So, where else can we do some sweet improvements in terms of, you know, generating a little bit more revenue? So, we do have these little demands now. So, we could start maybe thinking about filling these areas all up. And I think we also need to, you know, implement more park areas. Like, this park over here does generate quite a bit of cash money moolah right now. We've got two park areas over here. That one's generating a lot of money. So, that's good to see. And so is this one as well. That's pretty good to see. So I feel like we need to bulk this area up as well, but also build a park that all the residential walks through to get to the commercial zones. Right, okay. So let's bring this road up here and let's kind of come off this here. So if I went straight, I mean, the connection is not the best, but running straight like this, here allows me to kind of do something a bit different is what it allows me to do doesn't it so i could keep snapping up and then we kind of like transform in a grid format into something a little bit different yeah which is not too bad to see there is a slight moment there where you can get away we're doing that little snapping and then i think there's that one final one just here bring that down a bit more oh it's trying to ramp up what are you doing boy what are you doing get back down um so yeah i, I just want to see if i can get that final little dragon i can but it, it is trying its hardest right now to do all some kind of crazy things it's because the land's slowly going up as well so we'll bring this down not too far there we go and uh, so you still get the griddedness which all roads run to the little kind of city park i'll kind of build here uh but does it also make sense as well we got to sort out this connection does it also make sense to continue kind of continue this strip of running so if that kind of continued in this fashion, this direction, could I utilize much of it? Hmm. Let's find out. So I've kind of randomly chose where this now grid effect is going to take place. But I'm interested and intrigued to see... Oh, that's went a bit funky. Uh, how this can run an end. So, you know what? I could now start to make it fit everywhere else. So, make that flow into that. All right. I could have this run and snap into that as an end. And that'll just kind of meet some point down there. But then again, we've got to get it to connect to all of this. So at some point, it does need to kind of snap in. So if I went for that and then just slightly bent the road, so it feels like it all kind of entwines and connects at this point. I could also build another city park here because the, the other side of it is people getting off these stops will walk through down here. But I don't know if... Uh, to then again, it doesn't need to be two it could just be one one city park walking up this area yeah that's what i'm gonna go with 
that's what I'm going to go with. I'm going to run this. Provided I can get the snap on. Like that. Uh, we'll come down 10. A 10. And we'll do a little bit less just there because the weight's kind of falling away. So it, we still get to kind of keep a grid kind of assortment. But it flows all within everything else quite nicely. Some areas don't quite work out as well. So that's where we might have to slightly adjust it. I'm just wondering what, what I can do here. You know, the best thing to do is delete it. Delete that because the issue is is here, not anywhere else. Then that four-lane road where the trees are on the sides, we then see a seven by seven. And then straight in. There we go. That just solves all the issues altogether. <laughs> so let me just quickly cover this area in water. There we go. <clears throat> there we go. And then we go a little bit crazy with the residential. So I'll also be able to get rid of this wind turbine. And then keep going. And we just got to do some minor adjustments here and there. You know, for example, maybe don't want it running on that little strip. Uh, I'll keep it on that strip there. Why not? But this is all going to be residential. It's all going to be residential. And bring that to there. And I might as well just get it to cover and fill in this little side. That little bit just there is fine. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep it as that. We'll keep it as that. So, the electricity will eventually pass through. I'm going to create another little city park just here. So we'll go for our main gate, which is going to go... I'll place it just there, that's fine. And we shall... Fit all that up. And then we'll do a bunch of side gates, so... Try and do it on the end of every... Road connection just there. Dot a couple around right now. So some more than others are needed. Because of how you naturally... How they naturally walk. And where they're trying to get to. So you don't need it on every kind of location. But can you hear all the ding, 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 ding upgrades right now? Sounds beautiful, boys. Sounds absolutely beautiful. All right, bring that down to there. I might like connect into there. Why not? That into there, and then straight in like that. So that solves that one. Now I can do a cross in, and what, what's the the cool thing about this is? That maybe I bring that to there. Uh, maybe if we do a cross in here or even there, I don't know. Maybe that they'll walk through to kind of continue to go, you know, all the way through this area. Who knows? Who knows? <clears throat> but I'm trying to also play to the bends. Which is a lot difficult than you think. Because if I went for something like that, you're just then going to completely snap it in with this. 
Which is fine. Does its job in reality, doesn't it? So, I feel like that does exactly what I need it to do at this point. Now, I can very sparely now place all this in. Because... I haven't got to do one either side because it's all the same park. It all kind of progresses and touches over and stuff like that. I'm going to put some schools around here as well. Even though we've got like ridiculous education levels going on. I feel like... It would just bring more students through here. So... Up! The ticket price! What's this anyway? This is a large bank. Hmm. Do I do a school? Let me see what my education level is like. Do you know what? We actually do need some schools. So, yeah. So, we'll start at elementary. And I'll put this just over here. Uh, the high school side of it. Yeah, we definitely need a high school. So, I'll put over here. Now, just kind of slightly help us all out. That will help us all out. So the power doesn't actually connect to over here. So I'm just going to quickly do this to get that platform all up and running. And this will just now build itself up and hopefully we'll start seeing some... Yeah, there we go. We're now coming close to turning a profit on this park. And how is this small over here doing then? There we go. An extra couple of pennies. It all helps, it all helps doesn't it, guys? It all low-key helps. So this bulks up this area, which we've got a while to spend those demands. So hopefully it just works out in the long run. People are using this bridge, which is good to see. We're earning money from our furniture factory. The bakery should still be doing pretty good. It's just waiting for some animal products right now. Um, do we have enough animal products being produced, is the question. We do have slaughterhouses, don't we? Flour mill. That's a good point. Where's my slaughterhouses? Is this one? Wait, hold on. Where's the slaughterhouses? Farming? A slaughterhouse looks like this. It's quite a large rectangular building. You cannot miss it. How are we producing? Or a cattle shed? Um, how are we producing animal products? Am I blind? Flour mill, large barn. Um. Yo, this is weird. The milking parlour, I have a cattle shed, and then that's what produces the flour. Where am I producing the animal products? I can't quite figure that out. All right, with that said then, I'm going to build some um, some slaughterhouses down. Because even I can't figure out where we're producing. The, the, uh, the animal products. And if I can't figure it out, then we've got no hope. I mean, we're definitely producing it because we, ha we have an output, but I can't seem to figure out where it is. That's really weird. That really is really weird. Right, is this making money yet? Yes, this is now making money, which is good to see. So all those pennies help. All those pennies help right now. And that's trying to consistently make a nice little profit. Just bring some more people in. It's going to work wonders for us, guys. 
it's going to work wonders for us right now. But we still got a lot of work to get done anyway. We can still spend some industrial demands. Uh, try and fill up more of these little areas. Here, there, and everywhere. Some dirty industrial over here. It should all have water, shouldn't it? Yeah, and then the power will eventually connect. So spend a little bit of industrial demand just there. We have a nice little bit of commercial demand we do need to increase on. But we'll get that all done in time. So some small improvements. We'll try and build a new industry in the next episode. See how it goes. So I hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, smash that like button down below. Until next time, we see you all soon. So goodbye. <laughs>